for 40 years, everybody mixed to tape. And of course, all the rock records people love were mixed to tape, half inch tape. First of all, it was quarter inch tape. And then right around 1980, it switched over to half inch tape, bigger tape, more bottom end. So what I'd like to show you is two things with tape. We're gonna compare it coming off the console into Pro Tools. I'm gonna show you two different speeds of tape. One of them is 30 IPS. That's the speed of the tape machine. And that is historically everything that happened after 1990, I would say maybe even earlier, 87, 86. And then I'm gonna show you 15 IPS, which is what everything was record, uh, recorded to before that mixed down to 15 IPS, half that speed. And of course it had a lot more bottom, but it didn't have that high fidelity. So uh, this way we're in a, a very lucky position to be able to have the machine and the tape machine, the SSL and the tape machine, and we're able to, to illustrate the, the sonic differences. And I know a lot of you have said, well, why does analog, people say analog sounds better, they're completely different. I think you can't really compare them. And so this is uh, to sh to, so you can hear it. And it doesn't really matter because you're not going to be able to find this console and this tape machine. But at least you're going to know because we're here what it does sound like. So the first experiment I think we're going to use is 30. Sure. 30 IPS, which is the uh, normal speed that tape ran for about, I would say, a good 15 years. I'm going to start at the top of the mix. So the AB, I'm literally going to patch and unpatch. So you just tell me when you want me to. Patch okay. So I'm going to go with my mix that I've done. Yeah. And then I'm going to signal. And that's when we switch over to tape. And then you can hear the difference between this off the console and the tape. Okay. We ready? Here I go. Yeah, we're all buying tape machines now. Thank you. <laughs> well, I just wanted everybody to understand today what it is that the attraction, obviously it does congeal and bond the song uh, in a different way than, than, than Pro Tools. And of course, the great advantage of, of mixing to uh, a DAW is not having to buy tape and not having to have all the silly equipment. But I just wanted everyone to experience that because I don't think you've done that before. Uh, there might be certain people that have been into a studio that have heard a tape machine. But when it's mixing, what I'm going to do now is a little bit different. I'm going to change the speed of the tape machine. And I want you to understand that this was the speed of tape machines from 1955 uh, right through to the half-inch machine which I think, Rick, was what, 1974, 75? So a good 25 years of 15 IPS, maybe more. Uh, so this is the, I'm going to do the same thing, except that the tape should sound different.
that's the half, uh, the half inch machine running at 15 IPS.